The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? <laughs> blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same. I'm fucking Yeah, same. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I'm your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick. And alongside me, I have two excellent stand-up comedians. First, he is the very lovable, very funny, very homosexual, Mr. J.P. I I thought that was going to be me. I wish it was you. (laughs) He, He really does wish it was you. Uh, and we also have another very, very funny stand-up comedian. He is uh, from Oklahoma, the state uh, that we kind of don't like. Uh, but he's also very, very funny, and he got denied by Polly Shore. Please welcome Mr. <laughs> Travis Cagle. <laughs> I've, I've often been described as a mediocre comic and a great personality. <laughs> that, that's what it takes, actually, if I remember correctly. That's how you get all the way to the middle. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we have a great episode for you guys today. If this is the very first time you've ever listened to the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast, this is a comedy podcast where we like to make very inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and very inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. This is also an adult podcast where we like to use foul language and offend people who have very thin skin. So if you're one of those people, you're in the wrong place. Get the fuck out of here and thank you and goodbye. And sometimes I pull my dick out. Sometimes. Uh, That's whenever the show becomes uh, part of OnlyFans, actually. Yeah, yeah. that's it. We'll give you guys that. Dress at the end of the show. I no bullshit. I got asked by my haircut person today. Um, have you thought about going on OnlyFans? Why haven't you? Because she knows about the show. Yeah. Why haven't you? And I'm like, that's actually a really good idea. Dude, that is a good idea. <clears throat> then JP can take his dick out, and it'll be totally normal. No, yeah. but seriously, we we should do some bonus content and shit like out in the field. You would have fucking... to come over here more often and record more episodes. No, we're gonna do this out in the field, baby. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, just across the street. Okay. Yeah. How to not feel? Not like you know what I mean, man. Sure. We can go do some stuff outside. Uh, yeah. Yeah, something. Let's go on location. Dude, something's Let's telling me we Take should this, not do this. Come on, man. This show on Look, the road. I've been I've been a part things. of this long enough now. It's time for uh, me to take this to the next level. Okay. Family I've vacation. seen what you. I've seen what you've got. I've, I, I'm, I love it, but we need to take it to the next level, okay. baby. We need to fucking. Oh. We need to start making some money. Okay. All right. Daddy needs a new pair of shoes. <laughs> <laughs> and they're on Travis's feet right now, so they're going to be very expensive. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, but anyways, uh, this week we have a couple of headlines to go over. Not too many uh, because we're interested in the fun. The fun is uh, never have I ever. That's where I draw the line. Questions and perguntas. Questions and perguntas. A good draft. <laughs> and as always, we wrap this bitch up with a shitty situation. <laughs> Uh, but before we get to all of that stuff, we're going to tell everybody what's happened to us over uh, the last week, Travis, a couple weeks. Uh, we call it our week, week recap, and we are going to kick this bitch off with the most anticlimactic person on the face of the earth, Mr. JP. I smoked weed. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, we can Prove smell it. it from here. <laughs> I bowled. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. That's it. it. That- um, but I did do something Wednesday. Yeah. Uh, so... It was like three or four in the morning, Wednesday morning, and uh, I went out for a cigarette, and it had gotten cold. I didn't wear my yeah. coat over here to record uh, Tuesday night or whatever, and then I just, it was really nice all the rest of the night, Tuesday night, and all oh, day yeah. Wednesday. So uh, I unlocked my car to get my coat out, and my one headlight didn't light up. Mm. And I'm like, well, fuck. I can't be driving around, you know, riding dirty like I do oh, yeah. and have a headlight out. So I'm like... I work a double that day, so I'm like, well, you know, from two to four, I'm going to call my buddy. I'm going to see if he'll help me change out the headlight. And he's like, sure, you know, go grab it and then come by. So I drove out to Park City. Uh, uh, turns about, out. 20 was, minutes. Turn, 20 minutes away. Yeah. Turns out yeah. there was nothing wrong with my headlight the whole fucking time. <laughs> 
<laughs> what did you do? Smoked two bowls before I went out to to, to uh, have that cigarette, apparently. And uh, maybe I just dreamed that the fuck. I don't know. But he when, we, when he took the light out, he was like, well, this doesn't look bad. And he goes, this looks fine. And I was like, oh. And he goes, oh, maybe there's another problem. So he starts, like, YouTubing it, and we're researching it. And he's got his little voltmeter, and he's checking all this shit. And he goes... For whatever reason, the voltages that adding up on this light, the one that it was burnt out, yeah. it was like, maybe it's because your car's not started. Maybe there's some kind of fucking... Right. Anyway, I start the car, everything fucking is fine. He plugs the boat, he plugs the lights back in. Those motherfuckers work like a charm, baby. So I spent $20 and two hours on... <laughs> on a headlight. On a headlight that I didn't even fucking need. And I have a similar story to that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was pissed. Uh, so th- while that's absolutely hilarious, my wife used to drive, I think it was like 2008 Ford Focus whenever yeah. we were, when we first got married. And uh, she had her passenger side headlight that was burnt out. And I was like, well, if you're going to do one, do both. Do both. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I work, in the autom- I work in the automotive industry, so that's what I do. And I'm like, sure, I'll just buy the bulbs. I'll go home. I'll do it myself. Must be nice to be rich and afford both headlights. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, I can but, only afford the one. So, JP only buys one shoe at a time. That's true. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's true. Okay, can can we do a layaway program <laughs> right. and I get the other one in a month? Yeah, Thank I've already you. got the left. I need the right. Do you have the right in stock? <laughs> uh, but... Um, but no, so I'm, I'm, I've replaced the, the passenger side bulb on my wife's car. You just put your hand back in there. And then on the driver's side, I'm like sitting here. I'm going, Jesus Christ, I got to take this off in order mm-hmm. to get to it. So I start taking it off. And then I'm like, God damn it, I still can't get it. I got to take this out in order to get to it. I'm like, I'm working on this for like 35, 40 minutes at this point in time. And I'm like, there's no way. I get to a point where I actually have to take off the front fucking bumper of my wife's car in order to get this headlight replaced on the driver's side. I'm like, okay, no, I'm doing something wrong. I'm doing something fucking wrong. I'm just going to YouTube it. So I find the year make model and it's a YouTube video. The YouTube video is an hour long and I just go, go ahead and fast forward to halfway through. And guess what the guy's doing? Taking off the front fucking bumper of the car to put yeah, in a goddamn dude. headlight. Why fucking didn't you crazy. go through the trunk? Like, yeah. Exactly. Like a normal person. <laughs> like a person. normal person. Yeah. yeah. Like, fucking, fucking shit. weirdo. Obviously, you're going to start at the back if it's your front uh, headlight. Right. How yeah. else do you get in there? Mm-hmm. But anyways, anything else you did over the over the week? The, uh, the like, um, By the way, this is Saturday. Yeah, yeah I was going to say, man, the, the last four days. I love recording on Saturdays because then I got a lot of time to do shit. No, I did not. You did not? I did not. Not that I could think of. I mean, Great. That's fine. That's totally fine. That's why you're Mr. Anticlimactic. I did cuss out a cop yesterday. Did How oh the fuck God. do you not bring that up? But it was kind of like in passing. Oh. So <laughs> there was a... I it, was, it was in a YouTube comment yeah, section. I was, <laughs> I, yeah. I was going to Taco Shop, and there was a big wreck right there on that corner on west, west and central and west central and uh they were like turn turn and i was like i'm going to fucking taco shop right there and he's like you gotta turn here i said the fuck i do <laughs> i said fuck you and i fucking just went dude <laughs> did she run him over no no i like and dodged I him dude him. <laughs> i dodged him it wasn't <laughs> dude he was like out in the middle of here and i had my window down and it was like we were a ways away from each other i wasn't like gonna hit the motherfucker they'll fucking shoot you for that <laughs> oh i know but anyway i was like fuck you jp got away and he's doing his last he podcast just stared, he just <laughs> he's got stared a at me dude he just stared at me <laughs> the whole what, fucking way but then what were you just like a like a block away stuck in a drive through while not even a block away dude you? it was at the <laughs> intersection it's on the corner of that intersection taco look dude we we were a fucking 100 yards apart and he was just staring at me and i was just staring back at him dude I knew he couldn't leave his post because fucking he had traffic to control. He's a traffic control officer. He probably didn't even have a gun. It gets his walkie out, and he's like, yeah, all right, we're right. looking for a really shitty green Chevy Cruze. Yeah, right. <laughs> Pull it over. He Fuck knew where I was. Motherfucker <laughs> stared me his, down the whole time. There's one intermittent <laughs> headlight. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Intermittent headlight. He's currently in Taco Shop's drive through High as fuck. <laughs> he just got a number three. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. So, yeah, I guess there was that. Did you drive back by him? 
Yeah. <laughs> did you give them one more on the way out? Or no, just, I didn't want like, to push my luck. <laughs> they were just getting the accident cleaned up, so I didn't want to push my luck, like oh, have him okay, jump okay. in his car and chase right. me down and be like, you motherfucker. <laughs> Uh, fuck you! <laughs> was it a not pretty, fuck me? At least was it a pretty <laughs> solid accident? Did you see the oh, remnants? Man. Of, was it? Some somebody dumb died. Bitch, I'm just guessing oh. <laughs> that it was a woman. Uh, <laughs> it, it there was a F two fifty, brand fucking new F two fifty. Oh, so one of my customers probably sitting <laughs> at the red light on West Street, right? And. Some dumb bitch <laughs> in a fucking Some Lexus baby. SUV just didn't stop. Oh, no uh, shit. I mean, the whole front half of the fucking Lexus was gone. Oh, okay, so she died. Probably. I mean, dude, Good it, it was gone. Good deal. And the, uh, the truck, the bed of the truck was basically... Up against scrunched the up the cab, I mean, yeah. yeah, nice, yeah. But what? the truck looked fucking. It they it looked like they actually drove it up onto the fucking. Oh, nice onto the fucking tow truck. So yeah, that says all you want to say about that's, fucking Ford. I'm a Ford built yeah. Ford tough. That's right. But yeah, it was pretty bad. <laughs> that's why I knew he couldn't leave that where he was at when I told him. <laughs> Fuck you, buddy. Uh, how about you, Travis? How was uh, how was the last couple of weeks? You know, getting turned down by Polly Shore when two other comedians that are on the show got accepted. Three, three other comedians that have been on the show got accepted. <laughs> Didn't want to rub the that third? in. Megan, three other was she Megan, on the show? She yeah. was on the show. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Megan, Derek, and Steve. Yeah. <laughs> it's like we have a monopoly of comedy here in Wichita. <laughs> That's what we do. Uh, but anyways, how was your weeks? Your last couple of weeks? Last couple of weeks were were pretty cool. Like I, uh, I I talked about this last time I was here. I got a PS Five. Started yeah. playing Spider Man. Yeah. Happy to announce. Boom. Finished it. Nice. Done. On to Spider Man Two. Yeah. And I talked about how weird it was because it felt like I had to do a lot of like errands Yo, and chores. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Like, within the first minutes of that game, spoiler alert, it's for a game that's, like, two years old or whatever the fuck, uh, you have to clean out his dead aunt's house. Nice! And it's like, oh, my God, I'm throwing away Chinese food, and I'm doing <laughs> dishes. It's like, where the fuck is a bad guy? I'm, like, fighting germs. This is... Uh, nice! It's, it's bullshit. Yeah. But, you know, so... Then uh, I, I was gear, gearing up to go to Tulsa, um, just see my fam. Haven't been there since Christmas. So Christmas? He's the reason for that <laughs> season, so you got to say got it. it like yeah, that. Okay, that's good. I dig you it. You got to say it like that. Sure. But I you know, haven't been there, and I normally go like once a month or so. Right. We're, we're tight-knit, a bunch of cousins that are the same age, like sure. on, on my level and on our kids' level, sure. so all that. Um, and uh, th that'd be the same was, level, yeah. You and your kids, yeah. <laughs> yeah just throwing that out there. <laughs> you know, it's bad whenever somebody as big as Scotty rips on. Yeah, them. that's true. <laughs> Finally, we found somebody Scotty can make short jokes to. Right. This is like the only time in my life I'm actually trying to sit up straight. Like, hold on, <laughs> shoulders. And I'm kind of trying to slump over because I look like Godzilla. <laughs> Oh no! No, oh that, no! It's that, got a zero. That's how Shane Gillis got fired from SNL. I'm not yeah, doing that. Yeah. Nice try. Yeah. But oh, so Jesus. it's so it's Wednesday night, um, and I see a Facebook post come up. It's the uh, Crown Uptown in Wichita. Yeah. Hey, Polly Shore's coming. Sold out shows. Blah blah blah. Mention whatever local comics right. you like, and maybe they'll get a chance. And so that was cool, and I had a handful of people throwing me out there, and I was treating it as a joke, honestly. The whole time, dude. Yeah, literally. The I, whole I shared, time. I shared Not a, Derek. Not I, Derek. I shared a post. <laughs> I shared a post, uh, like their post, and I said, hey, guys, go go say I'm really cool. And for the love of God, nobody tell Megan Welch about this. And I tag her <laughs> in it, like, as part of the joke. Right. Like, you know. <laughs> And, uh, but it was cool. Like there was like tens of 11s of people who, <laughs> yeah, nice. who praised me and said how like cool I was. And 
I, you know, I, I was just in the comments, like, like I did on the oh yeah month day fun day. Yeah, I was in the comments, just like trying to just have fun and just play with people. And the next morning, I got a message from from somebody with Crown. Yeah, and they were like, "Hey, are you available?" And it's like, well. I was going to go to Tulsa, but I could maybe see if I could do a trial separation from my wife and family for a weekend. <laughs> like, I mean, I'm sure they'd understand. Completely, yeah. Yeah. And so, you know, I'm, I'm rapping with this lady back and forth a little bit, and I just give her my phone number so mm -hmm. we can, like, call Te or text. Because I hate Facebook Messenger. Just right. I hate because I feel like the message doesn't, go out when I want it to go out. Like it's, you know, there's like a disconnect. And so maybe there's hours that go in where it's like, no, I replied to you instantly, but like just didn't fucking do her. Yeah. So we called, mm -hmm. um, she was really cool. She was digging me. She, I could tell that, you know, something good was going to come my way. Um, and she's like, yeah, send me a clip. We'll, we'll get it to Polly's team. We'll figure it out. Let you know within about an hour. Very much like Derek said, <laughs> day and a half later, <laughs> it's like, it's the day of the show, like maybe six hours. And I still don't know if I'm going to Oklahoma or if I'm staying in Wichita and if I'm performing or not, not right. even like staying in town. And I got excited about it. We, you know, of course, I told family sure. about it because it's like, hey, we might not come because I might want to polish. And so it was exciting. Every, you know, everybody got everybody got amped up for it. I had a pair of pants on the night before the show. We were going to go out to dinner. It's like, I don't want to wear these pants. I might wear these tomorrow. <laughs> these might be my show pants. I don't want to I don't want to waste them. I don't want to get soul some. <laughs> Can I say something? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so the gay one here, JP, I guarantee JP never gave a shit what he was going to wear on stage doing comedy. That's because Am half, I the correct? Time, half the time he's wearing the club shirt and he's like dealing out <laughs> yeah. French fries. Yeah. JP. The That's true. One of the only times I've seen JP do stand up comedy he was sitting down half the fucking time. Yeah, man, because fuck all that without a cause. business. <laughs> Just fucking sitting there. Yeah, man. What's wearing all a, that? Wearing a hoodie. Yeah, uh, dude. No, I'm a little show pony. Like I, I didn't, know. I didn't know this about myself. I did. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he likes you. <laughs> Matter of fact, I, I've been calling you my little pony for a long time. You just didn't know it. Yet. Sure did. I mean, not not to bring up Megan Welch again because she's the best ever. Because you know, God damn it! <laughs> but uh, she actually told me this. I didn't realize this. Like, I show up to the venues half the time, and I'm like wearing something or whatever, and then I have a bag, and I'll like before I get up to perform, I'll like put my jacket on that I'm wearing, or mm -hmm. put on my jersey that I'm wearing, or or you know, I'll, I'll change a little bit. And she's like. Travis, why do you have a drag bag? <laughs> That's awesome. And I was like, what? What do you mean? Because, like, don't get me wrong. I'm accepting of everything, but I don't know stuff. Yeah. Like, there's just stuff I don't know. And she's like, no, that's, like, what drag queens do. And it's like... <sighs> <laughs> I mean, it makes sense, I guess. <laughs> <It makes sense. laughs> JP knows. JP's done drag I don't, before. I don't oh, yeah. want people in the lobby to recognize me. And I want them to see me on stage and be like, whoa, who's that guy? <laughs> if you start doing drag, that works a lot better. Uh, I went out to a bar. I went out to a bar that my boyfriend was at, but I was in drag. And I oh stood by him all night long, and he never <laughs> knew it was me. That is like such like shallow how like have, yeah. Gwyneth have you not seen, seen the picture? Suit. No, <laughs> really, you've never seen it. I mean, dude, if you're trying to like well, guess work what? your way into the staple, if, how are you not at least going to appeal to my demo? If you have but, not seen, hey, look said at me picture, with long hair. <laughs> here it is. 
What? Yeah, I'll send it to I you. I know you're going to send it to me. We'll, we'll add it in post. Oh, yeah, it, it will. <laughs> it's it's there right now. It's, see it? It's right down there over by JP. It's right yeah. over there. I this make, is a, I make one hot bitch. <laughs> <laughs> no, you look we're, like a man. Shut up. This and is terrible. Drag, dog. We, we were coming down the stairs, and literally, I the last thing I said before we started recording was, I'll talk twice as high, or <laughs> I'll talk twice, twice as, as fast. fast and half as much this time. Yeah. And we're only on like my second thing of the week. Well, then get it going, buddy. <laughs> so, hey, long story short, after a while, the booker loves me. She's talking to me up and everything. Then I finally get contact. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Mom vibes, and I like it. I love my mom. Yeah, can you imagine that coming up to you and being like, hey, baby, let hi. me suck your <laughs> dick? Uh, it's fucking scary. She like a lady, but she talk like a man. Uh, la, 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 anyways, la, sorry. La, la. Sorry to interrupt. You go ahead. This is like one of the weirdest anticlimactic <laughs> stories because everybody knows I didn't get it. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I was kind of wondering what you're going to get to that part. Yeah, the booker loved me, and then it's like, let me hear back from Polly. And so <laughs> it was really weird because like never have my like, thoughts of Polly Shore went so high and so low where it's like, man, I hope Polly Shore likes me to like, man, who gives a fuck about Polly Shore? That guy, <laughs> that guy sucks. <laughs> but I mean, it's not all bad. I didn't get the gig, but like Derek talked about in September, there's going to be some like slam jam comedy wham that oh, I'm, yeah. I'm going to get to be a part of. Yeah. And they're, you know, it's a connection. They're sure. going to try to do more stand up. So my name's on a list somewhere. Oh, hell cool. yeah, dude. I got, I got my headshot. Up, the yeah. free stand up list. Well, and that's like the coolest Actually, thing. That reminds me. No, the first thing I, not the first thing, because I am a bitch. Like the ninth <laughs> or tenth thing I said to her was like, would there like, and I literally even said it like this, like, would there be like any kind of compensation and or she any went, kind of pay? She and went. she said, in exposure we, we no exposure. no she was really cool she said we don't know we haven't talked to them about that we haven't talked to his team about that this my boss kind of last minute was like hey we should do this and like it was almost like 10 minutes before that facebook post went out sure that's like how long they thought about it which Polly, excellent points that you had last week yeah. he he had a good post on facebook talking about a few reasons and one of the best was or he wants to make sure he's the funniest person on stage that night <laughs> that's the only reason why he'd out of a have a local going yeah but anyway i got a life experience and i actually got got on the new york times bestseller times list bestseller list boom <laughs> the boy who cried weasel <laughs> how to get over disappointment and rejection from Polly shore <laughs> <laughs> all right guys these are actually out of stock right now i sold out there's going to be some more coming soon though if you want to send me a dm with your social security number and your address i will get it to you in like 20 days or so it takes a while because i print each picture off i cut it off I tape it to another book, and then I just mail you some other book. Uh, for instance, this one is Fancy Nancy. <laughs> so, hey, con congratulations to Christian George. You're getting this. Send me your socials. <laughs> not not your like web handles, like your social security number. Uh, other than that, though, I got a comedy show. Uh, Going to be this week, uh, Friday the 29th in Tulsa. Very excited about that. That's awesome. It's going to be at Belafonte. If you're in Tulsa, if you're in Oklahoma, in that area, come out. Uh, really quick, got to do a side tangent. Um, Evan Hughes is producing this show. Sal, can you can you zoom in on me a little bit? Thank you. <laughs> you guys never mention him. You no, guys never talk about the he's cameraman, new. Sal. He's new. Yeah. Okay. yeah. We brought him in just for you. Just you're for doing you. great. Yeah. Okay, bring it in tight on my face, please. Okay, go for it. I wish. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. I was almost in serious mode. Okay. Evan, you fucking piece of shit. Listen. Word around town is that you're going around and you're hugging people, squeezing them, making them feel good. I don't fucking like that. Okay. <laughs> hugging, my game. All right. I invented hugging. Ask JP. It's true. <laughs> Tulsa, Friday. Me and you. Hug off. 
<laughs> at the comedy show. All right. <laughs> if you're not going to be a little bitch, you'll show up. And I, I think he should. He's hosting. Yeah. You, you probably should show up either way. Your name's on it. <laughs> Hug off. Buster. Yeah. Hug off. Okay. All right. All right. Hug it off. JP is actually going to do the post game review on that. Absolutely. <laughs> That's a mouth hug. I'm going to hug them both after the show. <laughs> you sure will. And that's it for me. Sounds good. Because I'm terrible. Oh, no, you're not terrible. Uh, <laughs> I had uh, I had an excellent weekend. Uh, I will say this. I uh, got to do the first round of golf for 2024. Wow. Nice. I was going to ask you if you played golf. I did. It was um, windy, man. It was real windy. I mean, let me break something down. I have a Where, very, Were you doing some world records? Uh, getting I mean, that wind behind you? Every time. <laughs> every time. <laughs> Uh, but that brings up a good point. Uh, I want to bring up a very good friend of mine. We're going to call the friend Bob. All right? Let's call him Bob. Call FB. him Bob. Friend yeah. Bob. Friend Bob. Uh, Bob. Is that who you went and played golf with? He is the guy that I go and play golf with on a regular basis. Okay. Now, Bob is extremely uh, into golf. He will golf anytime. Yeah. Okay. Um, there was one time Bob and I golfed whenever it was 15 degrees outside, snow was on the ground, and, um, and uh, the wind chill made it like fucking zero degrees some people are psychos like that like yeah. my dad uh, retired oh yeah. and literally every day for a full year after that he played golf yeah every day like through winter sure through yeah everything it absolutely was fucking nuts yeah that's that's bob dick cagle and uh bob uh wanted to go golf on saturday morning and and he wanted to go at eight o'clock in the morning Okay, right. as one does. Uh, well, I mean, that I was mean, the that's, very that's first. The that's the very tea first time. tea time yep. that's available, which I really enjoy because I don't like anybody being in front of me. Yeah, right. Yeah. So we go out eight o'clock in the morning, and uh, it's cold as shit. It is thirty degrees outside with a little bit of wind, and we walk in at seven forty-five into the clubhouse, and they go, "Glad to have you guys here, but we can't let you guys go out." Uh, until it reaches 36 degrees. And I'm like, oh, okay, uh, so what are we supposed to do? They think like, you're going to freeze out? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. It's like, what the <laughs> come fuck? Come back like, tomorrow. Come it, yeah, sure. like, what, what the fuck? Was it daylight? Uh, oh, yeah. It was, yeah, it was okay. it, it, sun was up by this point. Uh, okay. But no, he said uh, probably right around an hour. The next tea time isn't until 9.15, so you guys will still be in front of everybody. And I'm like, all right, so I guess we're just going to go out and sit in the truck for a fucking hour. We sit in the truck for about 30 to 40 minutes, get thirsty, go back into the clubhouse. And at that time, the um, groundskeeper, head groundskeeper comes in and he is like bundled up and he's fucking freezing his ass off. And he just looks at me and Bob and goes, y'all are fucking crazy. Absolutely fucking crazy. Go ahead and go. And so we're like, ah, fuck it. Sweet. So we get our shit together. We go out. We get into the golf cart. Dad said we could. And <laughs> we get into the golf cart, ready to go. And I think we maybe drove like ten feet when it when we were just outside on the other side of the clubhouse, and it started blowing pretty hard. And I'm like, "Yeah, fuck this. Fuck this. I'm going back to get a hoodie." So I'm like, I walk inside and I get this great hoodie. Oh hey, from Cherry Oaks, uh, and nice. and uh, golfed. Uh, the rest of the night, the rest of the day, the wind actually got came down, and by about maybe an hour into the round, it was actually gorgeous. It was like fifty five degrees with no wind, and I shot an eighty three. Get the fuck off of me, dog. Boy, yeah. howdy. I so, uh, yeah. Is that hey? I didn't put my glasses on. Is that Tiger Woods over there? Yes, sure is. Oh my yeah, it goodness! It sure is. Wow. Sure is. Next day he was wearing a red shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Red was. shirt, black pants. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> One, uh, don't make fun of me, but on Sundays if I go golfing, I always wear black pants and red shirt. I don't give a fuck. Every time. Hey, man, I don't even golf. I just bought a red polo one time just to look professional. <laughs> Dude, it was like my job interview polo. Yeah. <laughs> Scotty's driver was fucking. What? What's his you name? You got a driver that was fucking tailor made by a Tiger Woods guy, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Fucking uh, death. I'm a, Scotty's basically I'm the, I'm, the I'm, new I, Tiger I thought, Woods. I'm not talking Woods. about a chauffeur. I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> no. I was like, what's no. his driver's name? <laughs> Tiger Woods. Fucking rich guy going on vacations yeah. on mountains That's and right. having drivers. That's what yeah. I do, man. That's what I do. <laughs> uh, but the other coolest thing that happened to me over the last uh, last couple of days is I there's been a person who's been sending old TikTok videos 
of whenever we first started doing the show. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. I got like six or seven of them on my phone. They're, those are going to be the Thursday, uh, throwback Thursday videos on TikTok and Instagram and all that shit. Right on. Okay, cool. God damn, we were fucking funny back in the day. <laughs> I mean, we're funny now, but fuck. Now we yeah, that, that, well. that, that before we had to go to the gay guy and the like basically <laughs> gay yeah. guy. Yeah. <laughs> gay Hasn't guy quite come out of the closet yet. Uh, but yeah, so I, I don't know I, I don't know who you are, but whoever's doing that, thank you very much because it would literally take me an hour just to scroll to the bottom of TikTok with all the shit that we have. So thank you very much. I appreciate that. Um, but please, yeah, please don't murder us. Yeah, yeah. please, please <laughs> don't. That's, that's the please. other part. Thank you for your service. Yeah, please don't kill us. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, but yeah, we've got a great episode for you today. Uh, and 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 the other thing I do want to top off is now uh, Monday Fun Day is no longer Monday Fun Day. It is always going to be Monday Friday. Uh, it's a lot easier to do things that way, and it gives us some time to like look over everything. It gives everybody an opportunity, so uh, I like that better. Anyways. Uh, but now we're going to move on to the show. We're going to kick this bitch off with headlines, uh, which I didn't have a whole hell of a lot. Uh, other than <laughs> other than A, B, C, D, and E. <laughs> that's right. I didn't, and then nothing behind them. I didn't have a whole hell of a lot, but through the day, through the weekend, I found some stuff. But uh, Travis came with his own shit because uh, he watches NBA and, and, and stuff. And he wants to talk about oh, some stuff. Oh, he's right in my cross. Oh, yeah, he's getting oh, real right, close. Sorry. God. Had to get something from under the table. Yeah, so he, he oh. wanted to do some NBA stuff because, you know, we all really care. We love we the NBA. Care. Yeah. Keith, Keith Litsky is the only one who I know really loves the NBA and LeBron James. Oh, can I ask you that question? Who's yeah, the sure. best basketball player of all time? I swear to God. I swear to God. It depends. Oh, no. No, no, no. Listen, it depends on what you want. What I will say, no matter what, the top three. No, that's a cop out. That is a cop out. out. Okay, fine. Then I'll do them in order how I feel like. Okay. You guys are going to think this is weird. This is the guy who gets forgotten, and he's the guy who actually played the most like Jordan, looked the most like Jordan, and was the most like Jordan, Kobe Bryant. He's better than Jordan, though. Kobe? Oh, Jordan, LeBron, mm. and he that's, took all of Jordan's moves. He did. Yeah, monkey see, monkey do. <laughs> well, Next thing you know, that's you a little fucking, racist. I think I don't. I don't want to go down. That, that that's a saying. <laughs> That's just something people say. Yeah. That's just something. Actually, no. People hey. like David do. <laughs> hey, no, along those lines, actually, this is actually kind of hilarious. Sorry. Like o- old sayings like that, stuff like that. There was an announcer named Brian Davis who worked for the Thunder for the longest time. And r- this was back in the Westbrook, Katie, Harden era. Like oh, sure, Whenever sure. Yeah. they oh, were oh, like yeah. oh, at yeah. the peak, like 2011, 2012. Mm-hmm. Westbrook is just fucking lighting it up. Like, I mean, he is like on defense. He's having monster dunks, shots, all this shit. And they're about to cut to commercial. And this, like, you know, the announcer on the play-by-play is like, and Westbrook is just playing out of his cotton-picking mind. Oh, my God. Yeah, I remember that. And it, yeah, and it's one of those things where it's like, yeah, I remember my grandma and grandpa saying that. And this guy is like, maybe as old as my parents so it's sure. like maybe he heard it but it's also like god damn dude context <laughs> no context shit. and yeah no he nice. got fired oh yeah he got what? fired he, got he was fired. gone and, but like the fucking great thing that he used to say was like anytime somebody would fuck up but you know oh yeah he do would something call me good Edward. yeah he would say <laughs> that fucking no <laughs> He would say like, "Oh, you know, Kevin Durant making chicken salad out of chicken something else," <laughs> and it's so weird that the guy that's known for saying chicken salad out of chicken something else got fired for <laughs> saying like <laughs> saying cotton yeah. picking. <laughs> Anyways, all yeah. right. So you wanted to do your NBA thing? Go for yeah, it. Yeah, really quick. Uh, update on the standings. East Boston is number one seed. They're the best in the NBA right now. They're fucking killing it. West side. Number one seed. Don't worry, OKC. we're going to cut this all out. 
Perfect. Actually, I wanted to sit in the middle just so that way I would know for sure I wouldn't get cropped out of the frame. Oh. And it's just like we can crop the middle out. <laughs> Try. There's you, just gonna be you don't put enough middle, faith in Scotty's abilities. No in the idea. middle, it's just gonna be Banner laughing in the sidelines. Oh yeah, exactly. That's it. Be done. We're gonna CGI Derek in there. <laughs> just, just lots right here. Oh my god, that would be terrible if you put <laughs> like be, a Derek filter on me. Oh, that'd, that'd be, be like that episode of uh, I think you should leave. When he does that shit in the mall like i don't even want to be around <laughs> that's me wearing a derrick suit oh for sure <laughs> anyways hey, anyways thunder fucking doing great that's good for me nobody else here really cares uh but i i want to talk about dick real quick <laughs> slow down slow down jp got excited real quick uh, i mean great, great we, dick. we can I, have a conversation <laughs> yeah there's a lot of dicks in my life i hear you a couple of them are my family. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm okay They're named with it. Dick. That's it. I don't it. care. There's no other, you know, yeah. no other context needed for that. Yep. Uh, but Grady Dick. Yeah. Toronto Raptors. Uh, I sent in a picture for the last show where he did the jersey swap. Black Dick. Fucking great. Phenomenal. He he played Oklahoma City not that long ago. It, it was yesterday, but when this comes out, it'll be a few days. Sure. So naturally, the new game every fucking team is playing is like, who do we swap with? Who who do we want for the Grady Dick swap? And so I got a couple jerseys. I got a couple nominations I want to throw out there for OKC. First one, number three, Josh Giddy. Giddy Dick. Giddy Dick. Giddy Dick. Okay. All right. That's one. That's one. The other one that I brought... This one, you got to use your imagination a little bit. JP, I, I heard you've done this before. Lindy Waters the third. Waters the third? Dick Waters. Ah, okay. Oh, that's my favorite kind of waters. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's what you get when you mix it in like bathtub stuff. You yeah. take a bath yeah. and that's dick water. Dick water. Dick water. Yeah, nice. Very good. Cold brew. <laughs> <laughs> Cold brew. <laughs> Jesus Is Christ. there anybody in the NBA that has the last name Trickle? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's just that would be car. funny. Okay, honorable mention though, we traded this guy a couple weeks ago. This would have been fucking great. Trey Mann, two ends, man, man dick. dick. Oh yeah, I man like that. dick. Yeah, and yeah. we we can close it out on that. You're okay. not gonna get better than a man dick. Absolutely uh, not. Let me tell you, unless it's one of those robotic ones, because those don't stop. <laughs> All those right, those don't stop. Moving on, we had. Uh, <laughs> 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 I've cut them I off. mean they have I'm a kidding. button if you hit stop. True. <laughs> um KU, ladies and gentlemen, lost K Poo. Like shit. Uh I I have held my well, I've been very consistent. I have not watched a, a game of college basketball. Except for this one. I wanted to watch this one. It was KU against Gonzaga. And naturally, like you're supposed to, where are you going to watch said KU game? At a bar. At a bar. Around a bunch of KU fans. Yeah. Yep. And Dude, they... what are you going to do at said bar with a bunch of KU oh, fans? Talk shit. Talk shit and be absolutely unruly and uh, ridiculous about... The other team. Did you have a couple drinks and put a lot of Nickelback not on the many. jukebox? No. no, that was not uh, that was not a factor. That was in said smart thing. though. Yeah, it was. That was smart. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it was smart. I uh, <laughs> I I loved every minute of it. Oh, and the best part was was uh, we actually had a group of eight. I was with my family as I always am on a Saturday watching you know whatever sports are yep. on. But they wanted to bring their friends who I have met before, and then two new people who I've never met before. And uh, guess what team that these people were fans of? Gonzaga? No, uh, KU. KU. Uh, so uh, they had never met me before. Well, they didn't like you very much. Didn't like me very much. So I'm, uh, you know, those first impressions are fucking awesome. Yeah. And uh, it ended up, I think, KU ended up getting beat by what, 20? It was yeah. something. Rough. It, it was yeah, rough. It was bad. That, second, that second half was pretty, whew, pretty rough. I mean, it was rough for them. It was awesome for me. Uh, but it was so great to sit there and clap. When something went right, bad for him and right. being the only guy there that was doing that, it just made me feel, oh, 
That's so awesome. warm inside. Were you like the only person not in a red or blue t-shirt? One hundred percent. That's what I it love. Was where, where, it was Saturday. It was Saturday, so I didn't have my red polo on. Yeah, it was okay. Saturday. So yeah, it wasn't Friday. So it, wasn't, yeah. it wasn't Sunday. 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 Uh, but no, I I was actually I was wearing this because <laughs> I, yeah. I just got done golfing, and uh, it was a lot of fun to watch Ku get their shit pushed in. It's it's. When you can, when everybody's oh, say a, that again. Uh, no, <laughs> holy moly! I made a mistake. Next, I shouldn't have said oh, that. Oh my next, goodness! Next college scandal right there. <laughs> oh god! Did you guys hear? K, you got their ship. <laughs> JP, <laughs> JP Final. was at the game. He was. <laughs> uh, so yes, that uh, that made me very excited. Um, the other thing I wanted to talk about was uh, the Wichita Wind Surge is the minor league baseball team here in town. Yeah, uh, I. I, I'm actually wearing a uh, the Turbo Tubs logo. They, they okay. on Thursdays they they have an alternate identity, and they would be called the Turbo Tubs on Thursdays, which I thought was fucking awesome. Tubs or tugs? T- tubs. Okay. T u b is in Bravo s. <laughs> okay. So I was about to say like, tubs. I am not the mascot. <laughs> I will be soon. <laughs> oh, you, hey, you know, Whew. it would hey, guys, be easier just find, to change find it us to on OnlyFans. It really would. I think that's hey, something that needs to happen. Find, find us on OnlyFans. We're Turbo Tugs. Turbo Tugs. <laughs> the, the speediest ones you can get. <laughs> We're going to film the first episode with Travis tonight. <laughs> It's a race to the finish. Uh, Who wins? At tur- Turbo Tugs. At Turbo Tugs. That's what we are. Um, but yeah, anyways, they decided to take that away, and they and they decided to make it something completely different, which is a very Kansas thing. And I, I guess it's a, either a Kansas or a Midwest thing. And I still, I've lived here my entire life, and I do not understand this. Chili and cinnamon rolls. Chili and cinnamon rolls. I, I don't get it, it either. That's they're called, so fucking they're weird. Called, they're going to be called the Cinnabuns. Which is, I mean, that's copyright a, infringement. That, no, it's not. It's yeah. actually not. That's freedom. Cinnabon. Uh, Cinnabon, I think is, but is. there's Cinnabons. 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 So uh, why wouldn't they say Cinnabons? No, like I'm sorry, they're not Cinnabons. Move. It's uh, it's it's uh, it's like Cinnachili or something like that. Ah, uh, hang on a second. You white got, people. I'm oh trying to God. white people in the marketing department. Uh, yeah, I'm trying. Wouldn't to, it be cool if we like did a mashup? <laughs> What if oh, it's like shit. Sinner Chilies? <laughs> uh, what I'm if trying. it's like cinnamon rolls? <laughs> I'm trying to bring it up here. I'm sorry, because I want to be 100% correct. They, uh, let's see, new. Nobody else gives a shit. This, but this I is don't like understand. me talking about the thunder. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Worse. Um, <laughs> Sorry, I'm just over here going that. to sleep between the I two of you. That. Yeah, uh, but anyways, no, the chili buns is what they're called. The, the chili, chili buns. buns. I apologize. Chili buns? Yeah, they're the chili buns, Oof. and and that is something that oh. I I don't understand. Why the fuck would you eat? Because it's a, a cinnamon roll is what they eat chili here with, and they dip it into the fucking yeah, yeah. chili. It's so weird. I grew up in it's a family so where we had my mom's cousin had a restaurant. It was called Ron's Hamburgers and Chili. It was like, it's a franchise famous through Oklahoma. Never have I, like, I came up in a chili family. Never have I fucking heard of cinnamon rolls. Yeah. And then I moved up here and people are like, oh, yeah, they serve it together at lunch. And it's It's fucking ridiculous. Okay, but is that shit, man? But is that literally just like the dessert? At the end of lunch, or are they like? Does the cafeteria lady expect you to fucking do the dip? Yeah, no, no. Do you do weird shit like that? Like no. frosties with a French fry? No, or like I know I've seen people do that shit. There's like, some weird shit like that where it's like I. You just know what else is really it. good in chili? What Bug peanut sex? butter crackers? Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. All right, I'll take your word for it. No, okay. Hey, no, I had. I mean, that's. I had some. I kind of along that lines. I had somebody tell me that tortilla chips and peanut butter is really good because it's like kind of like pretzely. It's like salty and peanut butter. I still haven't fucking tried it, but I'm just not big on like weirdo food groups. Yeah, like chili and cinnamon. (laughs) (laughs) Fucking stupid. So if it's just a Kansas thing, let us know in the comments. If it's a Midwest thing, it's a Midwest. uh, I think it's Kansas and Missouri, but I feel like it's only Kansas and Missouri. (laughs) Like if anybody north of us does that, yeah, I want to know about it. Nobody south does that. And Texas what, doesn't do it. Oklahoma doesn't do it. Yeah, and Arkansas let us, does cousins. Let us know what mental hospital you're commenting from. <laughs> uh, and then the last thing I wanted to talk about, because I figured it would probably take a while, 
was I also watched a documentary over the weekend because that's my thing. When you're over the age of 30, you get, you start getting into documentaries. Uh, but everybody apparently is, and uh, I watched Quiet on the Set, the scandal of the Nickelodeon kids and the sexual assault charges uh, to a lot Ooh. of characters that I like grew up watching and had no idea this shit yeah. was going on. And holy fuck. Like I, we dodged. No spoilers though. I haven't we, watched. Yet. I won't. But we dodged. <laughs> we dodged a bullet, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. JP is wishing he was uh, actually on set. I'm How guessing. did I dodge a bullet? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I should have been a star. JP should have been firing bullets. <laughs> no, shit. <laughs> I should have been a star. We didn't. I would have done all of that. We had no. And I wouldn't have said shit. We had no idea why Amanda Bynes went fucking loony. Oh well, yeah, you knew. I I didn't know. We, we know li- now. No, everybody just thought it was the Lindsay Lohan, yeah. Miley Cyrus thing, which that's Disney. Your day's coming. That's oh, right. Yeah, they're next. Oh God, yeah. yeah. Hulu's coming after you next. Actually, no, not Hulu. M U S E. Uh huh. Uh, the fucking it's game. it's very very fucked up but it was very well done i'm glad that they did that they exposed this these motherfuckers there's dan more than one Sh- dan schneider yep yeah and, and he's i, re- not I remember jail. him i remember him like being in the actual skit yes he would he, be he was on at least all that for sure mm-hmm. yeah all and that and he sure. was in the good burger movie and oh yeah he looks like if josh and drake merged together to be one person and then grew up to be an adult he's that fat weirdo Mm. with long hair like middle school hair but everything else is fucking fat boy middle school hair it all makes sense oh yeah it's it's it all makes sense it's extremely fucked up and without without doing spoilers and shit like that which i don't want to do is this on netflix it is uh no you know what this is what surprised me it was on HBO Max. Yeah. Oh, okay. HBO Max through ID, like Discovery. Yeah, exactly. And then they decided, okay, well, we're also going to put this shit on Discovery as well. So they're trying to get this out. And uh, yeah, and I'm glad they are because yeah. it's well, super Discovery, fucked up. Discovery and Warner's. War- same. Same. Yeah. yeah. So there is that. But, but um, I think it was like a discovery id because my mom watches that channel because mm-hmm. all the like yeah how i killed my husband shows oh yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Travis yeah I, take, i'm, wa- I'm watching notes. how I, yeah i'm watching <laughs> how i met your mother and my mom's watching how i killed your father <laughs> <laughs> uh but it's very good if you get a chance go and look at it i know the social media is going fucking crazy about it and uh so that is your homework assignment for next week's episode jp yeah. Or okay. you go or ahead. flip side, if you want to feel really good about your childhood, watch X Men ninety seven. <laughs> oh yeah, that fucking that was badass. They had two episodes come out. The second that theme song comes on, I don't know. That's my childhood. Rock hard, man. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That's Anyways, it. that's that, all you get. That's headlines for this week, ladies and gentlemen. Now we get to move on to the fun parts of the show, uh, which I'm very happy about. It. Yeah, everybody's everybody's excited that we finally got through all of that. JP, right? It's <laughs> like thumbs up. That like, was the first hour of the show. That's right. Uh, but now we get to move on to never. I'm never leaving. <laughs> never have I ever. Uh, thank you guys for participating in Monday, Friday. I uh, really appreciate all of them. And guys, we had a lot of good ones. Yeah, man. Basically, Holy shit. you guys killed it. You I know we say that every it. week, but you I mean, just yeah. keep, you keep well, getting just better and bringing better. It. Bringing just it. Bringing it. They, and uh, They yeah. just make it really easy. Oh, yeah. They just give it. It's like improv is so terrible improv is kind of fun to do but it's terrible for everybody else but this is like if improv was good you get excellent suggestions it's like fuck let's do that let's do this that guy's weird yeah and and i gotta give him i gotta give you credit because you and jp both of you two are the are the only ones other than myself who actually give feedback for the ones that you fucking like so thank you very much to both of you two as well appreciate it i don't have to do every fucking thing i just don't have any friends so i like i, I fig- like I pretending f- like i'm cool i figured as much jp wants to be your, <laughs> be your friend though yeah anyways uh we're gonna kick it off with whole mates. <laughs> whole mates whole that's mates that's right that's right uh, anyways never have i ever we're gonna kick this bitch off uh first one <laughs> comes in from braxton lint uh braxton wants to know never have i ever tried to lie on a lie detector test who the fuck 
has taken a lie detector. Right. I've never so had access, but I've always wanted to. But like, that's I'm what I was gonna say. I've never taken a fucking lie detector test. Yeah, the I think Braxton might to be up to something. <laughs> exactly. I think it's like what? he's trying to get pointers yeah. so when they catch him. Right. Like, well, no, are you I mean, sure it's not? Are, are lie detectors are you sure he have a like name? available? Like. Do you? Do you? I don't can you so. just buy one, or, no. do you, or is so. it like one of those things no. where you have to order a person? Well, they're not even admissible the in court, so they don't even use them anymore. Honestly, right. they don't even use them anymore. I know they kind of like have been. They do it as more of a that. scare tactic right. than anything now. Yeah, it's more of a psychological yeah, thing right. to trick you into admitting right. something like your Which mom is saying. Bullshit. Do you have anything you want to tell me? Yeah. yeah. That's like a mom move. Right. That's what the lie but, detector is. But it's so bullshit because... I'm he, not a liar. When you Brent. when you actually <laughs> take the lie detector test and you pass, they use it in court as... I even said, I even took a lie detector test right. and I passed it. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? But they use that as collateral. So it's like, uh, yeah. well, what is, the fuck? I mean, is that almost like the equivalent of a DUI, like... Sure. Test like being like, Maybe. well, hey, I fucking did the alphabet backwards, so <laughs> yeah. eat a dick, dad. That's right. Fuck you. Yeah. So uh, no, I have not done this, JP. No. I, I would have if I could. But I was just getting ready to say. <laughs> That said, <laughs> if I ever did have to take a lie detector test, I would absolutely try and lie, 100%. just to see if I could. <laughs> yeah, just to see if you could f if you could beat it. Yeah, I mean, you know? sometimes there's like those celebrity videos. Please state your videos. name. My name is Jeff. <laughs> yeah. My name is Jeff. My name is Bob. I'm Jeff. Uh, next one. Next one comes in from Brian Gerberding. He wants to know. Oh, Brian good old, Gerberding. Good old hell Brian. Of a, hell of a name. He's, he wants to know, never have I ever thought a family member was hot and tried to hit on them before you found out you were related. JP, swear to God. We're both looking at JP <laughs> first. JP, I swear Just to God. Just because I don't want to talk first. I don't JP, either. soften the blow for me. Give me a landing spot, please. <laughs> I know you guys, I know you guys aren't going to believe this, but no. Wow! Hey! Okay. Oh, sorry. Well, no, both are appropriate. They are appropriate. Both are appropriate. Both are appropriate. Um, <sighs> but I'm very shocked. Uh, I mean, this is a Joe Dirt moment. You know what I'm saying? You're fucking your sister, and you didn't yeah. know it was your sister. No. But you find out it's your sister, and it's hot. Now, my grandma, when I lived with, I moved in at, right after high school. <laughs> Where are you going with this? No, like right, right. <laughs> my grandma. So right we after went, we went from dude, okay, this is fine to well, my grandma. Right this after, one time. right after high school, I moved in, moved in with my grandma, <laughs> and she lives. They live in a. <laughs> they, listen, they live in a little town up by Topeka. It's a nothing town. I'm Please related finish. to. I'm related to ninety percent of the town. And okay. she would always, I don't okay. like how any of this sounds. Please <laughs> okay. just okay. I know where it's going now. Dude, I wasn't fucking anyone <laughs> because I'm gay. But back then, I wasn't. I wasn't out. But I, I hung. I hung out with a lot of girls, and I would bring a girl home. And when when that girl would leave, Grandma would be like, "Now you know that's your relation. You can't be going. You know what I mean? You oh, know yeah. you guys are related. You yeah. know down the line and what." So my grandma had my back. She wouldn't let me fuck my cousin. That's good. That's good. She so, wouldn't yeah. let you have sex right. with somebody you're related to. Right. That's always good. A high five. Little did she know <laughs> <laughs> that you were looking for dudes. Gr little yeah. did she know that meant they were on the list. I need that. <laughs> oh, grandma, wait, I, lo I love that you're telling me about all my girl cousins, but can you make a list of the boy <laughs> ones, please? <laughs> exactly. yeah. That's right. What about Cody? <laughs> How about you? How uh, do you know about Cody? Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> How about you, Travis? Have you ever done this? Uh, um, like he tried to marry his mom. He said that last time he yeah, was here. Yeah, true. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Yeah, right. <laughs> I guess yes. Yes and no. Um, okay. Yes and no because one is fourth grade, so like. It's like a crush. It's He's like from you Oklahoma. Don't even, they all fuck no, their cousins. No, no, no. <laughs> no. Listen, I'm primarily we're close with my mom's side of the family. That's like who we who we always hang out with, who we always do holidays with. My dad's side of the family. Some of them are Jehovah's, oh, you know, Jehovah's yes. Witness. Oh, so it's yeah. like eventually they just stop coming to stuff, yeah, <clears throat> to birthdays and stuff like that. Because yep. to them, it's like. This isn't a big deal. This is Tuesday. Why should we come over? Oh yeah, you know. So, so we we just weren't close with my dad's side. Fourth grade, there's this girl in like not my class, but you know how you have like pod classes. Like you and that class go to PE at the mm -hmm. same time. You and that class go to oh yeah yeah. A girl in another class, super cute. Oh wow, liked her. Blah blah blah. 
end of the year, fucking we go like every the whole school goes to the zoo for the fucking thing. <laughs> yeah, my mom's a chaperone, and just like monkey exhibit, just like two ships in the night. Like I see, I what see, was your I relation with this chick? I see the girl. She's my second cousin. Oh, that's but, second but, cousin. But I never talked to her. I, it was like one of those it's like still not okay. <laughs> <laughs> like you said that like oh that's fine. You can fuck your second cousin. Hey, it's legal. Hey, who said anything about fucking? We're in fourth grade, dude. Have <laughs> you seen South Park? <laughs> you could go and uh, actually no. Don't use South Park logic with fourth grade. <laughs> they soaked instead. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You could go and be on all that. Yeah, right. Yeah, you could. So, no, I never tried to okay, that's, fuck a family that's member, but I did think one was cute until I realized, like, oh, cool. So. Small town living. Yeah. So, I guess, I guess I'm going to tell the story how you're supposed to tell the story, which is get to the point. And that is, I didn't even realize it, but I was hanging out with my stepsister, my soon-to-be stepsister. Soon to be like I had no were idea. Already dating my my dad and my future stepmom were dating, but I didn't understand, and I thought my stepsister was cute, and I had no idea. And then we ended up I becoming mean, that's, step siblings. That's, that's such maybe, an awkward maybe relationship see, at first. But you could have an OnlyFans. Do porn? I could. Yeah, <laughs> that's sure good. Yeah, yeah it's, it's totally. There's allowed. all kinds of that stepsister shit on there. That, oh, for that sure. That reminds me of an episode of Gossip Girl where like, <laughs> where are you going? <laughs> Hey, we got to move. Ladies watch this show too. No, they no don't. Well, that one does. Yeah, Taylor, Taylor Shout Marofsky. out Taylor. Taylor You're the best. This is for you, Gossip Girl. No, two of the main characters they're dating and then their parents start dating and it's like, what who has to quit dating? What the fuck? Yeah, it sucks when that you know? happens. For sure. And is it just seniority rules like, well, you, we're your mom and dad. We're fucking now. You guys quit. <laughs> you don't get a fuck anymore. We're fucked now. We Jesus do it. Christ. All right, we got to move on. Uh, next Never Have I Ever comes in from Brendan Wilkinson. <laughs> he wants to know, <laughs> never have I ever used skin glue to your body's ball or to your buddy's ball sack to their inner thigh as a joke. What? No. You, never have I ever used skin glue to glue your buddy's ball sack to the inner thigh as a joke. No. Why? I have accidentally done this to myself. Okay, I was getting ready to say you've accidentally done it to glue, another dude. If by skin glue you mean semen. <laughs> oh, my God. And glued, glued my, yeah. I yeah. mean, you know, you don't have time no. to fucking towel off. You just pull up the fucking, you just got to pull up your underwear and go. You know what I mean? And sometimes that shit happens, oh, man. Oh, God. All right. <laughs> Thank you very much, Brennan, no. for that one. Thank no. you. <laughs> Uh, next. That wasn't even like a. He didn't even try to make that a question. He was just like, "Hey, I don't know if you guys can fit this in, but like, have what if like have you ever look. done? Th- have you ever done this? Because I have. I'm gonna look this dude up. <laughs> like, I, I never really fucked. I feel with like my friends. that may have a chance here. I never fucked with my friends when they fell asleep. Like the most mm. I would do is oh, no, I would blow gotta, weed in their face like no. while they're snoring, so they inhale do and then they're asleep for like hours. No, you, you have. <laughs> to I was accidentally them. Bill Cosbying my friends. Nice. Like, that's it. That's what you get. Uh, <laughs> next one comes in from Nicholas Reed. He wants to know, never have I ever almost died with the same person multiple times. 100% yes. His name is Benjamin Cash Morgan, and I hope he's doing well. He's Me the, too. That sounds like a fake name. No, that he, sounds like a rich dude for no, sure. No, this is, the, this is the dude that fell out of my truck going 60 miles yeah. an hour down a dirt road. Yeah. God damn. Yeah. My guy's name's Bob. Bob. And we've been... We've been uh, he's never almost died, but almost every time that I'm with him, I almost die. <laughs> I don't know. Is it because of the amount of drugs you take? No, oh. no, no. I mean, it's just stupid shit that I do. Like one time we were building a shed out of a uh, a big like shipping crate, yeah. like metal shipping crate that my buddy, he worked at a shop and they got a new CNC machine and big ass metal crate. So... We were we were putting up the wall, and all of a sudden, the five people that were with me just let go of the motherfucker, <laughs> and it started falling. And for whatever reason, luckily, I was standing right in the doorway, and it no, fell. you weren't. You, yeah, dude. No Jesus way. Jesus Christ. No way. That's yep. not fucking fair, dude. Dude, that shit only happens in movies, dude. Oh, that's my, so funny. Good I for really you. Th- so. Uh, for another you. time, he has a six wheeler. And it's amphibious. Oh, fuck yeah. But uh, it's aquatic. The uh, problem is <laughs> there's little plugs in the bottom of the thing. Mm-hmm. I know what you're talking about. Well, they were not in. Nice. I did not know. Uh, <laughs> and I drove it into the creek. Sinker tinker. And there you go. Yeah. So, I mean, and that's just a couple of the t- 
But there's a lot of other times that God yeah, I almost it. died with Bob. How about you? Have you? No, but like in in my small town, in my class, in my grade, I did have a couple of fucking like death buddies where it was Rusty and his Dwayne. And it was always Rusty almost fucking killing Dwayne where one time Dwayne got <laughs> shot in the eye with a BB and he still I'm had pretty the sure your in. answer was no. <laughs> yeah? Okay. Sorry. No, I'm <laughs> I re- ano- another time with you now. <laughs> another time Rusty stabbed Dwayne with a sword. A literal sword. A literal sword. That's the only reason why I wanted to tell the story. Oh, you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> So, if you're watching the show, anytime that Travis gets ready to tell a story, JP just It's going to cut out. You know, it's going to cut out. Not. And then JP 40 seconds later, it's going to be me, me saying, and that's about it, like, I think. What? And by Travis, and by Travis, he means the guy that was sitting here at the beginning of the show before we CGI Derek back in. Jesus Christ! <laughs> the only way JP is going to let me tell a story is if I sit on his lap. That's, that's true. true. That's the only way to keep him interested. That is true. <laughs> God damn it. Last one. Thank Never. God we're not doing this live <laughs> no, where people can right. like comment and be like, hop on. <laughs> <laughs> Last one. Never have That's I ever awesome. comes in from Austin Carper. He wants to know, never have I ever masturbated at work. Myself or someone else? Because <laughs> yes. Both. Oh. To both. I plead the fifth. You plead the fifth? Yeah. Oh, I that, definitely. That's, that's I've fine. masturbated myself and other people at work before. <laughs> No. With my mouth. Turbo tuggers. <laughs> the turbo tugs. Hey. Oh. hey, I only got 30 seconds before I got to get these cheese fries out. Turbo tug. <laughs> no. People don't know. I actually grabbed his dick right there. Yeah. Okay. Now, here's the other thing. Okay. Hold on a second. No, I've never done it at work. Have you ever done it in your vehicle? Yes, that too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's, yeah. I plead the fifth. No, yeah. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? Yeah, I'm a disgusting person. I'm not going to run for city council anymore, We're, I guess. Yeah, yeah no, I, no joke. You're I, off I, the list. I did it in the car one time. Well, thank God we got through that. <laughs> that was never I did it on really? the roof. Hold on, I did hold it on, on the really roof quick. of my old no. job. <laughs> I did it on the roof, and it was with a girl. Oh, very good job for you. Hey, where did, where did it go? Off the roof? No wasted opportunity. Why would you even fucking be up there if you're not gonna fucking spit off the roof? Oh, God damn. Jesus. Anyways, that's the where never, that's never have I ever. Now we get to move on to JP's favorite part of every I single don't spit, episode. I swallow. This is called that's where you draw the line. There you go. Okay. Uh, first one, we're gonna try to get through this all really as quickly as possible. Probably because not gonna happen. I'm not, I'm not gonna answer any of these. <laughs> That's the only way. Christian George wants to know where do you draw the line? How much foreplay is too much foreplay? When I come. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was going to say. I mean, when, when that's JP really comes, the only answer. That is a unanimous answer. Yeah. That's I mean, a unanimous answer. Only if it's if it's for her, it, there's, no, there's no amount. No. There's no I, amount. I, I would say it's either on one of two things, when eye contact changes or when breathing changes. If it goes from like, <sighs> to like, <sighs> then, so that, like then that means it's JP's like, JP's okay, over there getting there. hard. No. <laughs> God, that's gross. Stop. That's just the sound of a dog, too. That's not. A, that's a dog breathing on a summer day. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make it weird. God. As he's staring at you, flickering his tongue. Big deal. I have my tongue out. That's what dogs do. Uh, oh. Anyways. <laughs> so, yeah, that's the answers to those questions. Uh, next, next. next one comes in from Craig Remington. He wants to know, how long before direct eye contact with a stranger gets uncomfortable? When either person starts undoing their pants. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It depends. You, if you don't do the awkward white guy, like, lip by, like, like, move. Yeah. If you don't do a move, like, you're just, if you're doing straight eye contact, the only way you can save it is if you do, like, the zone out move, like the, oh, sorry, oh, sorry dude. I didn't, I didn't know I was looking at your dick. So the answer is whenever you... Both do that, and then you see them staring at you, and you just go, <laughs> you look at me? It's whenever you see the yellow in their <laughs> and then, eyes. And then they go, 
Yeah. <laughs> Show enough. Cram cr- cr- across the podcast <laughs> that, table. That's right. That's that's when it's fucking all, if 100%. <laughs> fuck, JP. Uh, all right, next I one. I bet you Scotty couldn't look at me for more than 30 seconds There's in the n- eyes. No, no way. way. There's no way. It's so <laughs> awkward and uncomfortable. Uh, he wants to know. Oh, I'm sorry. Next one yeah. is at King of Putts, which is a golfing reference. He's oh, got, he's okay. he's three obvious. putts. King, yeah, of, King three of three putts. putts. I'm sorry. King of three putts. I just bad. thought that Get was like right. a, I thought that was a really dope like Jewish name. Like, hey, I'm the King of the putts. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. Ooh, Gabagool good, or whatever. Good golf know. name. Racism. He wants to know where do you draw the line? How uh, how much would it take to go down on Lizzo? Dude, you'd do it for a million. I want to see your face. I would do it for. I would do it for a million. No, absolutely fucking not. No, no amount of money. I mean, there's an amount. Are we doing any additional circumstances? Like five million dollars? Can we say this is right out of the shower? You can't say no, bro. Can can we say that? Can we say this is right out of a shower, or is this right after Madison Square Garden? Ooh, that's even better. (laughs) I don't give a fuck for a million. I'll fucking right out of the shower. What's yeah. your what's your clean price? What's your dirty price? And is it just a hundred dollars different? No, it's <laughs> it's th- the same. It's Thirty seven cents different. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's because I need to fucking buy one of those mini tubes of toothpaste. <laughs> <laughs> the travel size yeah. scope. I, I would I I would want a, sh- a switcheroo. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. I, I I would take all of her money and her yeah, and her pop stardom. Oh, I thought you were gonna say. How much would it take for her to go down Dude, on you? The day that you become a pop star is <laughs> same, same price. <laughs> the day that you become a pop star is the day I jump off that bridge. <laughs> <laughs> I was in a band, man. Yeah, uh, I, I know you were, dude. I saw some pictures. I, I would have liked to have seen your band. I Honestly, I got a family. So yeah, I you, don't know. You're like a hundred bucks. I mean, I have no <laughs> real. Yeah, I have no real concept of money too. Like, I think thousand airs are like. I think that's a word. For it, yeah, thousand air. Yeah, it is. Like, so I would oh, probably I could, say like only dream. 500,000. Okay. Half yeah. a million. That's good. Cause like a, I who's want the paying whole million. that? Like is she doing And that? it's a million dollars post tax. Okay. I don't want, I don't want a million taxed. dollars. And then I only get like uh, 700,000. Yeah, I want idiot. the whole I'm million. I'm going to get like 2,500 out of yeah, like you're my fool. half mil. You're a fool. <laughs> Next question Fucking is another one from Braxton Lent. He actually has a couple on this episode, including two times, uh, two times, actually three times. Three, uh, yeah, oh yeah. Where? Uh, he wants to know. Oh shit! Good job, B. You're yeah, exactly. Doing a great job, BL. Where do you draw the line? How much is too much to pay for an OnlyFans subscription? I feel like anything. Anything? I mean, anything porn? over nine ninety nine. There it is. Ten dollars too much. Ten bucks. If it's nine ninety nine, I'm in. But <laughs> if right. it's ten dollars, you can go fuck yourself. Porn and is I'm on not the paying internet to watch for it. free. It's just you I don't know. You weren't at. You weren't on the last episode, so you didn't get that that conversation. Because every once in a while, you're got to be curious of somebody yeah, who, that man. you know and want to see. Like if name. you had an but OnlyFans, bro, is, I would be a subscriber. The weird thing is though, with porn stars is. Like, you're never going to meet no, them. No, you always see somebody that's like, oh, wait, that looks like a girl from my hometown. Never. Like, oh, wait, you don't? No. Oh, my God. That's all I do. Oh, God, no. That's well, all I that's do. That's the I'm only like, way oh, to get out of Lisa. Oklahoma. No. That's the only way to get out of <laughs> that's Oklahoma. That's how they do it. That's how you wide in the pool. That's right. <laughs> Jesus. No, I recognize almost every porn star as in like, oh, that's fucking Becky from over there. Oh, or like, no. oh, you know, no, gross. Not me. That's what my niece would look like as an adult. Oh god! You know fuck. stuff like that. No, fuck. Uh, next one comes in from Andrew Bingham. Uh, this is the last one. He wants to know uh, how many March Madness brackets are too many when you clearly suck at March Madness brackets. I'd say two, two, one for fun, and one for like work. One? You one. say one? Why? I would say one per group. Like if you have like a even, friend group, I don't, if you have a work group. Like dude, sometimes people, sometimes work. You does guys that are shit. fucking. I'm gay, but you guys are doing fantasy football, <laughs> fucking March Madness brackets, faggots. No, yeah. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. When I worked in an office, people throw in yeah, five, ten gay. bucks. Whoever huh? has the best one bracket. is too many. Nobody needs to fill that shit out. So I, I don't. Cor- I don't. Correct answer is two. I would two. say two. Correct answer is two. That's and fine. Here's the reason why. One for fun. The reason why it's two is because you have one 
which is what you really think is going to happen. Yes. This is and the one that this is, this is what you really think is going to yes. happen. And then just this, in case. And this is other one. This You're other like, one. I couldn't really decide between that? these two. Yeah, yeah, this other one is upset fucking city. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like, I see, I called that upset. I'm fucking right. smart. Yeah. That's that's how it's done. That's what you do. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is that's where we draw the line. Now we get to move on to questions and preguntas. We're going to do five of these bitch bitches. Uh, uh, so, uh, yeah, let's going to kick off with the very first one, our favorite, Taylor Moroski. Yay, Taylor. Taylor's Yay, back. The best. She took a hiatus. Tim. Why are you doing that? Why are you taking a hiatus? Yeah. You have I think, suggestions. Wait. She she was here when I was here. Yeah. She left when I left. She did. She came back when I came back. This is true. This is true. Hmm. Uh, but Tease stick together. <laughs> yeah. Taylor Moroski wants to know, what's something you can say about a pool, but not your spouse? <laughs> Jesus, it's wet in there. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't know how That's to swim, thing. stay out of the deep end. That's a good thing <laughs> I can't say. say that about my wife. You can't say that. No. That, that's like encouraging. <laughs> no, I know, yeah. but no, I can't say that about my wife. So yeah, how about some... you, Travis? Okay, we can't have more than four or five people in here at once. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's good. Uh, next one comes in. I love in. you. <laughs> next one comes I in. I love you, too. <laughs> <laughs> this has derailed. Uh, next one comes in from Brian Kimbrell. He wants he wants to know rejected monopoly board game properties. Trump Tower. <laughs> God damn it! That was the one I was gonna do. Skid Row. Ah, that was the other one, or something similar yeah. to that. Uh, I think it should be the Skid Row, and it should be like just a little shop of horrors theme. Sure, that would oh, be yeah. cool. Yeah. You know? Oh yeah. yeah. South Hillside. Yeah, South, <laughs> South Hillside and Oliver. Yeah, like fucking <laughs> Harry and Oliver. That's it. Uh, yeah. If you don't, I, if you don't know, in Wichita, if you're you from, know, about, you know, if you if you live on South Hillside and, and Oliver, whew, it's yeah, not good. It's not a good place to be. Uh, uh, how about you, Travis? I, I would say Waffle House. Okay, yeah, that's yeah. a good one. That is a good one. Two a.m. Waffle House. <laughs> that's right. Because like you might be able to squeeze something good out of there in the afternoon. It's two possible. p.m. You might get lucky. Two a.m. No, no. you're you're <laughs> recording a video and you're hoping people watch it. Uh, n- <laughs> next question is this is a good one. This is a great question. This comes in from Derek Hill. He wants to know what else in life should involve a two week notice. Like <laughs> a warrant for your arrest. <laughs> yes. A warrant for your arrest. Actually, you get more than a two week notice. Do you? Uh-huh. Oh man. What a warrant for your arrest or a subpoena. Well, they tell you when they put a warrant out on you, man. I know, but they I wanna, want you to come turn yourself in. I know. That's why I want a two week notice before it happens so I can vacate you the You want a pre warning? Yeah, I want a pre warning. The guy who has six alarms on his clock wants a pre warning. Yeah. <laughs> you believe that? Yeah. Yeah. Can you believe that shit? It's like it makes sense. The guy who's terrified of TikTok videos <laughs> sounds and will run his whole backyard with a gun. That's true. Uh, I did that once. <laughs> Uh, how about you guys? Mm. Two week notice. Um, death. That'd be cool. Death before any STD. Ooh, yeah. That's hey, good. we can fuck. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll let you know now. You're never getting rid of that. <laughs> but in two weeks. In two weeks, you're gonna get some bumps. <laughs> you're gonna get some bumps. <laughs> They're not gonna go away. <laughs> I, I, I think I would like a two-week notice the next time I'm going to have to listen to JP eat something in a microphone. That was good this stuff. This is the weirdest <laughs> ASMR shit that I've like ever heard. He's just over here like, oh, shit. Uh, two-week notice. Uh, I don't know. Honestly, it'd be kind of cool for diarrhea. Yeah, that'd be a good one. Because diarrhea, di- diarrhea at home, as long as it's not the fourth or fifth one totally cool oh for Di- sure diarrhea out in the world like at work in public whatever the worst but if you're just at home oh my god diarrhea is so cool <laughs> so cool right jp tell that jp <laughs> one time oh god <laughs> one time i shit myself yeah. inside out then right side out basically, basically. <laughs> you're basically not wrong <laughs> My 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 ex drank a my <laughs> my ex drank a whole pot of coffee before we fucked, <laughs> and when we got done, it looked like somebody threw poop filled water balloons in bed with us. It was not good. It was not good. Oh, Jesus we need Lord. we 
We got a new comforter. That's all I'm saying. Uh, <laughs> and sheets, hopefully. No, the that, sheets are fine. That's where oh I draw the line. The comforter was the comforter <laughs> was covering the sheets. Nope. That's that's where I draw the line. It goes sheets, plastic sheet, comforter. Anytime oh, you want to have gay sex. Uh, okay, I got yeah. it. It's okay. <laughs> oh stay, fuck! I was gonna leave. I no, was gonna leave. Oh no, god. Uh, next question comes in from Joe Gonzalez. He wants to know rejected themes for high school homecoming or prom. What was that name the name of the show that we were talking about a little bit ago? Yeah, exactly. Homemates. Quiet no. on the set. Quiet on the set. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's probably one we shouldn't use. <laughs> oh fuck. Uh, I mean, we joke about it all the time, and it's one of our f- more famous jokes. But like Toy Story. Yeah. Oh yeah. That'd yeah. Be, right. That, no. that would be yeah. a. Toy Story porno scene? Fuck yeah. yeah. You got a friend in, in me. me. <laughs> Wait, hold on. And it's my buddy. <laughs> Wait, hold on. You're, you're saying the school dance theme, it's not even Toy Story, it's Toy Story porno? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Boy Story. <laughs> Sorry, JP and Travis Cagle. That's a private school. That's a gay uh, private school. It oh, just, God. It just sucks. I wish. Oh. That, that just sucks because I know I'm the boy. These little motherfuckers that got to go to private school. I know I'm the boy oh, in boy school. Story. Oh, motherfuckers. <gasps> Sorry. Oh, if, I, if only I could. Man, if I was rich. <laughs> How about you, Travis? <laughs> God damn it. Fuck. Uh, sorry. Just, just, just processing <laughs> everything that's happened. Uh, I would say probably, probably what would it be, I'm trying to think of the best wording, like, cause you have to have a good appeal on it. I got it, another it'd be, one. It'd be furry themed. Oh, furry but, themed. Yeah. Oh, fine. Maybe, maybe it would be, uh, oh, I know. I know. It, it'd be animals unleashed. <laughs> there we go. Dress up as your favorite animal. Oh, God. Head to toe. No faces. Oh, fuck. Teachers, Dude, teachers, I would and principal so make my too. animal with tits so I could suck all the straight boys' dicks. <laughs> oh my god! They would think I was a girl. Oh, that'd be perfect. Oh, oh shit, dude! So hey, hey, did you see that fucking cheetah? Oh, Put yeah. it under god my tail. Damn. Yeah. Just lift up my tail. <laughs> <laughs> all right. JP tucked his tail between his legs. Yeah, I did. <laughs> oh boy! And then I had two more. Nine eleven. That's a good one. Mm-hmm. Hey, never forget. Right. That's right. When in doubt. Yep. Plan that out, and then as always, naturally, oh, no, uh, the last fair. one, certainly not, but least, or uh, the last but not least, is always going to be Epstein's Island. <laughs> Epstein's, Epstein's Island. Island. Yep, because that's actually a reality situation. Uh-huh. I mean, that's that's kind of like quiet on the set, but you don't know the names. Yeah, right. you don't know the names of the people, <laughs> and the people that know the names get killed in prison. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. <laughs> it, at least quiet on the set had famous people like this I know her. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> I know him. <laughs> Next one comes in from Reese Newland. He wants to know the new tornado ranking system. I I honestly think it's going to be. I think that I think it should stick around. I think we have to have F whatever but f stands for fred and it's whatever fred's doing if fred is outside on his lawn that's an f1 if fred is on the roof that's an f2 if fred is in his garage that's an f3 if fred is in the house looking out his window that's an f4 and if fred is down hunkered down in the fucking storm shelter that's a fred five so what's the f stand for now uh fuka fuka the fuka yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think it should say stand for faggot. <laughs> you know, we've got a faggot four coming your way. Uh, take shelter now, or else it's going to be too late. Or you're going to get JP's outside. Take me. Yeah, yeah. Take me with you. One hundred percent. I just want to go cross country. On Only this difference whole is a faggot five. By the way, he's yeah. he's out. He, he's a F five. He's a turbo tug. Yeah. He, he's actually outside, butt ass naked, spreading open his butthole, saying, "Come on, you call this a storm." <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh man. Okay, go ahead and go, Travis. What did you think? I I think it would it would almost be like a vibe scale. Yeah. And it's still one to five. And it's just chill the fucking. No, no, it's just kind of words. It's like sure. Oh. O's the first one. O's you kind of see it because I'm from Oklahoma. Oh yeah. That's where it's like, oh, it's storming. Let's sure. get on the porch because we're fucking idiots. Mm-hmm. You know, that's what we do. Mm-hmm. Apparently they do that in Kansas too. Yeah, we do. But yeah. So one is oh. Okay. Two. two. Okay. <laughs> Three. Oh shit. <laughs> Four. Oh fuck. <laughs> and five. 
Where are you? <laughs> <laughs> Where oh are my you? God. <laughs> that fucking yeah. Don't that's, like it. That's, Where are you? Yeah, that's good. I fucking love it. All right, we're going to end this <laughs> with one more question. We're going to wrap this up with Dev Dev. He wants to know, besides candy, what is something funny to put in plastic eggs? J- and, he, and then he says, JP, I expect gold. Why JP- gold? I don't know. Let's make JP go last. For okay, that. yeah. That's JP's <laughs> the headliner J- J- on this. Yeah, JP's the last one. All right. <clears throat> uh, I'm going to say nothing. Yeah, that'd be fucking just because. Because I mean, no, because think about the fucking kid, especially if it's your kid, <laughs> where it's like, <laughs> what the fuck? It's like, what? Did it melt? Did it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, there was. Did you drop it? Yeah. Oh and yeah. Then you don't have to buy shit. It's like, oh my god, a fucking snake. Absolutely. Snake got <clears> all the candy. Uh, mine is going to be receipts from your local grocery store. And just wad them up and put them in every single one of them. Yeah. And I'm talking about the ones where you go, a long way. you go in and you buy one fucking yeah. thing, and that bitch prints out a three foot receipt. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking and about. And it's literally just two coupons. <laughs> exactly. It's, it's like not even. It's like, not even a bunch of them. It's two. Yeah. JP. Well, my answer is obviously gold because uh, that's right. what he expects. Well, yeah, yeah, but but no, what's what would be funny? Uh, just a real egg. <laughs> <laughs> just put a real egg in a plastic bag. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I like, like it. Unpeeled, like hard boiled, and then you unpeel it, and yeah. then you just put it in the plastic egg in the way. I open. like it. Or, I, uh, no, I, I like just that? putting it straight in there. Like that way, if it breaks, it breaks. Like Even, fuck you, kid. Or <laughs> yeah, or a roofie and a little tube of Vaseline. Very good. I think that that's what it needs to be. I agree. The, the wines. T- Ladies and gentlemen, that is questions and preguntas. Again, thank you to all of you guys who participated in Monday, Friday. That is what it's going to, so keep your eyes peeled on every Friday. We hope to get your uh, excellent suggestions because you guys fucking killed it this week. (laughs) Fucking killed it. Thank you very much. Uh, But now we get to move on to a very popular part of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines Draft. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines draft. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, Derek is not here, so that means that JP won. Winner by default, baby. My right. favorite way. Your favorite way. It's really almost the only way I, mean, I it ever is. win. Sometimes the best of ability is availability. And this is bullshit. That's because, how you get there. Because my wedding gifts were really shitty. Mine were too, bro. Mine were really fucking shitty. So, whatever, all of you people. Um, anyways, I'm very I mean, excited. The, the divorce, divorce attorney. That was like that was I know, such a good. I like, know. It's only because he got the first pick. That's it. That's the only all reason. All three why. of us would have picked that. Exactly. Everybody had that. Okay. Had it everybody had yeah, that. Yeah. That's why I'm excited about this one because I feel like I'm excited about I this feel one like too. Everybody has their own picks, and we might not even have any overlap. So. This actually is the first time in a while that we've actually take, taken a listener's suggestion for the draft. And it is a guy that's had two suggestions already. Mr. Braxton Lent, everybody. Braxton Lent, the star of the show tonight, folks. He, he fucking killed it. Trick. He oh. did the hat trick. And I'm really pumped for this. Uh, this week's draft is going to be the worst ways to unalive yourself. Because that's the way you say it on social media. Phrasing. Yeah, it's phrasing. Uh, but anyways, uh, so this week, uh, because JP technically won, he gets the championship picks. I, however, get the uh, Eiffel Tower picks. Oh, baby. And uh, Travis gets the very first pick. Ooh, I get the guest pick. That's right. So uh, this week's draft being uh, the worst ways to unalive yourself. Travis, what is your very first pick? Accidentally. <laughs> What? Accidentally. <laughs> like, if you don't mean to do it and it happens, that's pretty fucking shitty. I mean, yeah. Okay. That's true. Uh, I'm going to uh, have uh, Lizzo. Wait, are we talking about, like, have it successfully happen or have it almost happen? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think I think all of mine are actually going to kind of be accidentally, but I'm going yeah. to yeah. <laughs> Uh, but I, my number one pick is going to be having Lizzo sit on my face. Oh, that'll do it. Yeah, but, that'll how, do but it. how much are you going to get paid for it? Doesn't matter. It'll be dead. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Who cares? That's taking care of the wife. Yeah. Uh, how about <laughs> JP? You get two in a row. 
Uh, first, I'm going to go with opening up for Pauly Shore <laughs> <laughs> and not getting paid. <laughs> And then I'm just going to shoot myself after uh, the set. Oh, my. That's a long one, though. That's like yeah. a, that's yeah. a real plan. Yeah. Okay. What's your second pick? Cut off one body part at a time with a hacksaw. Oh, God Ugh. damn. Yeah, that would hurt. Like finger, Jeez. finger, finger, toe. You're talking toe. about little parts. You're not yeah, talking no. about. One okay. little part at a time. I And I'm thinking like arm, arm, leg, leg, you're done. You're no. okay. Fuck that. Hand. So now we Mr. Cool over here. Yeah. Jeez. So <laughs> great so, job. So now <laughs> we get into my biggest fears. Uh oh. Yeah. I was gonna pick this Black one, but people? I was gonna leave it for you. I was gonna oh, this is on my list. I've got it written down. I know I know one of them. Hang on a second. Are you gonna say black people? No. no. Okay. Sorry. No. That's what? gonna be his fifth pick. <laughs> <laughs> Give my best friend the gun. Yeah. Jeez, uh, I have a best friend. I don't, wait, wait. Okay, no, I, I can pick. I can pick the other one because it's you coming. Because I, I, it goes to Travis and then it comes back to me. So kay. okay. So uh, my next pick, I, I absolutely am terrified of planes. Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, and yeah. everybody says the funnest part of of anything that they've ever done is jumping out of a plane skydiving. Mm -mm. So fuck that shit. I'm gonna go skydiving <clears throat> without a parachute. There you go. I almost put that on my list. Fuck that almost. shit. Because and because everybody's like, it's going to be fucking quick. No, it's not no. going to be fucking quick. Yeah. You know how long it takes you to jump out and then hit the fucking ground? That's going to be two minutes of fucking. But for like two minutes, you're going to think, maybe I can fly. Maybe I can fly. Maybe no. I can fly. No, no. no. you for, can't. For two you minutes, can't. you're going to be like having a heart attack and you're going to be blacking in and out mm -hmm. and like. Oh, what's happening? Oh, fuck. And you're like, stress is just going to oh, yeah. fucking make you shut down. No, I thought about that. That would oh, be yeah. fucking terrible. Oh, yeah. That suck. Terrible way to unalive. Travis, you get two in a row. Two in a row. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this one is uh, for all my fellows out there. By marriage. How the fuck do you kill yourself by marriage? It's really slow. But eventually you die inside. And then... <laughs> okay. You know, you'll get there. I don't understand, but... Okay, I'm just going to put Suicide marriage. Suicide by marriage? Okay, all right. Like, am I even really here right now? No, Who no, knows? not really. You're kind of you're, you're kind of not. But uh, all right, then you get one more. Okay. This Gee, one. I hope it's a good one. Because <laughs> right now we got a free space. <laughs> yeah. I felt like that was silly. I like that's good. <laughs> People will like that in the chat. Uh, this, this one is a Rube Goldberg machine. AKA like oh. yeah, AKA like mousetrap. There mouse we trap. go. Okay, all right. That that's good. I think that's good. Did like that, that make it, did yeah. that make that up? Okay, I, like I, I, I whipped I don't know a second. If it made up for the first two, but that's I, a good one. Hey, accidentally is pretty good. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> if you're talking about the worst, keep uh -huh. in mind this is the worst. No, I get We're it. not trying to be good. The Goldberg machine that takes three minutes to finally like cut off your head. No, you would have to fucking set up so many different steps, and it would be so tedious. What a fucking why would you kill yourself like that? <laughs> Why would you like have to set up something for two hours and make sure it works oh, really man. good? And then not only that, you have to sit down in the chair or whatever and you have Push to start button, it yeah. and you have to watch the fucking bowling ball roll down the ramp, hit the fucking string. Oh, yeah. no. The string pops a balloon, a dart flies across the room, a fire starts, an egg cracks. And then all to just pull a trigger of a gun to shoot you yeah, directly yeah. in the yeah. head. Yeah, exactly. Perfect. It's, uh, it's the Family Guy episode. Right. No. <laughs> I, uh, I am going to go with the other pick that I am going to take, and that is to jump into... Shark Sharks infested waters. After Sharks. listening to last week, I figured you were going to do that. Dude, I am terrified. Because I listened last week. Good for you. Wink. No, but yeah, it, that that would be by far the worst. Actually, no bullshit. The worst way for me to die would be to get into a plane crash, survive the plane crash and in the ocean, <laughs> and get eaten yeah, by a fucking for shark. Sure. <laughs> that'd be the worst fucking death ever so yeah that's and my Brittany, pick. Brittany Mahomes and Taylor Swift are riding the sharks <laughs> exactly <laughs> they're targeting How the fuck me did you even get out here <laughs> <laughs> all right JP you get two in a row okay uh on twitch on a live stream on twitch that would be a horrible way uh, okay like you shoot yourself on twitch yeah okay all right 
I feel like by marriage is better than that. I was going to say, I, like, wait a minute. What, you, wait, you were acting like I, I was I'm shit like in the bed. The God actual damn. ways to do it. Yeah. yeah. Twitch would kill yourself? No, with a gun. Oh, okay. But on Okay, live Twitch. on. T- okay, okay. So that's su- okay. Well, suicide by live stream. Gun yeah. while live stream. Yeah. Okay, okay. I got that. All he, right. He has to. Yeah, it. I got you. Got to get the 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 the, the method. Yes, the method is what I'm looking for. No, I hear you. Uh, and then you get one more. Uh, drawn and quartered. Ooh, like you tie each arm and each leg to a horse, and then you slap oh. them on the ass. Yeah, oh, yeah. And they run at the same time. Believe, believe that me, would, I, that would be. Oh, yikes! Yeah, yeah no, not no. great. That's uh, that would that's not bad. be good. Okay, uh. I I only know about this because of Jeremy Joseph. No oh God. <laughs> That's a great way to start. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna check out for you a second. Here. Yeah, uh so my happy Jeremy place. Joseph told me about a particular scenario <laughs> where a kid was playing hide and go seek and he hid himself in an exterior locked freezer. Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. So I'm gonna be locked in a freezer. Yeah, that would be bad. Yeah. Yeah. Like I man, I really misunderstood the assignment. Yeah, I thought did. we were picking whimsical ways that like almost like man, that'd be a terrible way. Like oh, you're no. not you're not gonna die doing that. Step up your game. Do something better to die. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. I thought we were talking about bad plans. Oh no, no. This is <laughs> just the worst way to go. The okay. worst way to go. Okay. I can pivot mid draft. Yeah, make or, sure my team's fine. You know what? I I'll be <laughs> honest with you. The last pick, not bad. But the first two, if you need to, you know, reach at the end of the draft to figure out two yeah. more picks, I'll give them to you. Okay. Okay. I'll think about something. But guess what? Yes. Now you're on the clock, so you can, you have I feel two good about more. This one. You have two more picks. Okay. I feel okay. good about this one. All right. Um, All right. What do you got? Soft boiling yourself in a hot tub. Ooh. That would not be good. Oh. Humans too. That'd be terrible. That would be terrible. What is Nick Carter's little brother, Aaron Carter? Aaron Carter, yeah. That's what he did. Yeah. Oh, shit. Really? Yeah. They found but him. In they, well, they okay, found, they found anything, some of him. In the, well, they found all of them in the bathtub, but he was not together. As, as a pool cleaner, like seeing a, you know, just for, for a gross reference, close your eyes. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. I don't have one. Uh, like a dead frog that's been in water yeah. for days. Yeah. Skin separates from body. Yeah. Where if you do something Ugh. to pull them out of that water. You're going to have a new frog suit. I mean, yeah. <laughs> you're you're, you're going to be able to dress up Polly Pocket <laughs> in an amphibious suit. Yeah. <laughs> that's good shit. So, uh, yeah. Soft, soft, soft boiling. boiling. Okay. Soft boiling in it, a hot tub and right. or human stew. And you get one more. One more, yeah. Uh, I'd say jumping off a single story roof. That's a not going to kill you. A single story? That's yeah. not going to kill you. I don't think I, you'll die again. Worst ways to commit suicide. <laughs> That's not a good way to do it. Why would you do that? <laughs> That's why I thought you would that. live. I mean, would like break your femur well, and then like blood loss. You're talking about jumping feet first. I'm talking about head first. Oh, okay. I'm talking about taking a header. Now we're getting there. Header, okay. Header head first. Header. If I don't win this draft, sword. I'll never come on the show again. <laughs> How the fuck? Your first pick was shit. Mine's way better. JP, you're going to win the draft because you're going to be the only one that wasn't there last week that's here this week. Yeah. That's, that's Either how way. you win Pretty again. much. <laughs> Either um, way. So, yeah, head, head first off of a low story because you're not going to die instantly. Yeah, right. You're, you're going you're gonna to sit there and croak for a second. So I'm going to pick this, but I'm sitting there going like, ah, it wouldn't be that bad. It'd be pretty fucking quick. But God damn, it would fucking hurt. And a lot of people have survived this. Um, but I'm going to go with uh, holding a golf club in the air. During a lightning, lightning storm, storm. <laughs> you gonna give it the old Ben Franklin. I'm gonna give it the old Ben Franklin. Okay. Hey, not not to be a braggart, but related to Ben Ben Franklin on my oh. mom's side. Yeah. Nice. Really? Yeah. You're real. surprisingly not smart for for. I'm just kidding. I'm I totally mean, joking. You're talking about a dude who went outside with metal in a lightning storm. That's actually a myth. I'm like on par with him. It's actually a myth. 
Don't you dare talk I'm about. I'm just saying it's a my family you, that way. Don't you dare a, talk about myth. Ben and me. He, that, he, he's, he, he's bringing up a fictional novel that grade school kids read where a mouse gives Ben Franklin all of his ideas, <laughs> and my family and our state have been battling this for fucking decades. <laughs> don't. No, just say Don't. No, the, the, key, the key in the kite thing is actually a myth. It's not what he did. Just so, just so everyone knows. But it was him doing it. It wasn't. Oh, a he mouse. definitely did some experiments, and he's definitely credited. But that's he, not how he it happened. Experimented. JP, Weak. what is your fucking last pick? What a great tangent. Dressing up yeah, in drag. <laughs> Dressing up in drag. And going to a lesbian bar. Oh yeah. And then talking shit. All right. Oh, because they they, they hate that. Dude, oh. they, they do not apart. like that. I we accidentally, well. It wasn't very accidental, but we did go into a bar one night. There was about three or four of us that were in drag, and we yeah. went into a lesbian bar, and they were less than responsive. I uh, they kicked that we ended up leaving five minutes later. I believe you. Yeah, I I had a very similar pick that I decided not to pick. Yeah, but uh, it just it was just basically me driving through east st louis yeah there you go <laughs> yeah with the windows down with the windows down 100 dollar bills on the dash oh 100 yeah, that's yeah. nice i you're, like that you're actually getting fucking shot do you have any other uh, okay well now you're at okay. the situation to where you can make up for your absolutely to- terrible first is that picks. okay is yes. that fine yeah sure yeah, man yeah, whatever yeah, you want to yeah, do am i getting an asterisk no just because i'm the cute boy jp like yes yeah, i mean for him, yes. sure. If but I'm for me, no. If I'm getting special treatment, it's it is fine, special. and I love it. I just want to no, be told. You, you just are. didn't understand the draft. <laughs> okay. So, so that is so I'll throw that's one. on my I fault. Got, I got one. Okay, okay. what I you got, got? One right off the bat. I'm gonna take away your marriage because yeah. that's, that's fine. That's the worst pick. Okay. Yeah, that that was a pun for guys who aren't happy with who they decide to spend their life with. Because like, hey, not me, not me, not me, not. Me. My wife puts up with my shit. Okay, so what is your p- what is your pick? No. <laughs> she does. <laughs> what is uh, your pick? I'm gonna say a steamroller. Ooh, it's slow. Yep. Who framed Roger Rad- Rabbit style? Mm-hmm. Austin Powers. Oh yeah. Like if you need if you need one reference, there's two right there off the top of your head. A, those. They, That's a good. Literally, pick. they cannot move more than five it's miles per hour. Marriage. Right? <laughs> it's better than marriage. Do you have another one to take away accidentally, or do you want to no, keep that? No, that accidentally is great. Okay, I feel like accidentally right. is great because how many people like <laughs> are trying to like auto erotic? <laughs> uh, what is it? You know that it'd be the auto one that erotic pick. Asphyxiation. asphyxiation. Yes, that would be the. How pick. many people are trying to kill Bill, and it's like. I just wanted to jerk so, off in an extreme situation. So, do you want to change that, that accidentally jerking off? Yes, accidentally hanging yourself while jerking off. Okay, that's that is the pick. Why are you drawing it, JP? <laughs> I can't help myself. <laughs> Draw me like one of your French boys. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh shit! Okay, so here's okay. here's All the right. here's the deal. I feel dirty about it. Not but, but but if I win. Thank you. <laughs> I love you. Here, here's the fucking deal. Something tells me that this particular draft will probably not end up on Facebook. Weird. You don't think? I think. Oh, no. So I, it's gonna I'm be, sure it's they're going to pull it down. It'll be on Twitter. Yeah. Uh, but just something about this draft makes me think that it's going to be immediately taken down. Yeah. Just I saying. I Is, agree. Hey, what if... What if we do a thing where we don't put what it is on Facebook? We just throw the image with all the draft picks. But if you're watching, you know what it is. That and we're just doing it for you. Is so what if we just do a picture and we just say how we would do it, but we don't say what we would do? Okay. This is I fucking think, brilliant. I think that's I, I think that's a this. constitutional like, I yes. think I need like oh yeah, we need bear yes. arms. Okay. We need to cut arms off right. of bears, wear them, and that's what we protect So here's the deal. With. We're going to put the draft on thing. Facebook, and it's not going to tell you what the draft is. All of the answers are going to be there. Nobody say the S Don't word. anybody say the S word. Nobody say suicide. the, the UA word. Uh, no, we have to. Oh, yeah, don't say Unalive. that. Yeah, don't do that. 
because that's a but, buzzword enough. Yeah, exactly. But on Twitter, it will say the unalive draft. On Twitter, it'll it say will, like, yeah. yo, yeah. On just Facebook, it won't it say right anything. Now. I feel and like it's this is some shit you should have decided after we were already gone today. I, maybe, maybe. But I <laughs> no, like, I like where I it's going. I had a great idea. I think it did. Yeah, Travis had, had a good, good, great idea. Good I made idea. up for my terrible draft. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, you can go to Facebook.com slash laughing on the sidelines or Twitter and vote for the worst ways to unalive yourself draft. But now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is the laughing on the sideline shitty situation of the week. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's laughing on the sidelines shitty situation brought to you by Reese Travis, no Cable's, Travis book, Cable's book. The Boy Who Cried Weasel. Yeah. How to Overcome Disappointment and Rejection from Polly Shore. That's right. And Reese's Pieces. Reese's Reese. Pieces. It's, Reese. His name is Reese. It's fucking <laughs> Reese. It's not Reese. It's Reese. Okay, man. You fuckers, quit you doing that shit. Reese. Right there in writing. Oh. Reese. And this week's uh, shitty situation is actually from a guy... Name fucking Reese. 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 Hey, <laughs> hey, really quick, give us an audio comment. Is your name Reese, Reese or Reese? Or Reese. God damn it. Jesus Christ. JP's over here. Reese's pieces. No, you fucking <laughs> asshole. It's Reese. It's Reese. <laughs> it's Reese's. Nobody has ever been named Reese. God. And if they are, it was after 2010. Right. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation is from uh, Reese Newland, who unfortunately just had a tornado come through his town, I believe. Uh, at least that, the, that was the gist yes. of the message yeah. that I saw, which is really fucking terrible. Shout out to you guys. Yeah, um, but he had a really good question. Uh, would you rather uh, have, uh, well, uh, basically, the tornado comes through your town, destroys a building. The it's building, right? The building right next right to you. Right next to you. Would you rather that building be a hardware store? Or a sex shop. That's easy. I'm not shocked. A sex shop. <laughs> <laughs> Can you just see me flying through the air, grabbing my ankles, going, please, God, let one go in? <laughs> because that's how that's going to go. It's just going to be me out there fucking shedding clothes, fucking, come on, baby. JP's going to handcuff himself yeah. to a fucking building. Yeah. It'd be like yeah. whenever they put, like, rednecks in those, like, wind tunnels with, like, $1 bills. They're just like, oh, let <laughs> yeah. me get one. Let yeah. me get one. That's going to be I me. I want something. That's going to be me. Yeah. That's fucking I'm great. I'm going right into uh, the uh, eye uh, of the storm, uh, if you know what I mean. <laughs> God. Talk about fucking aerial dildonics. <laughs> <laughs> a fucking flying dildo shit. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> aerial dildonics. That's good. I, like I love that. That's it. Hey, yeah. if it's by air, it's aerial. Yeah. If it's by land, it's aquatic. <laughs> <laughs> and these are both. <laughs> exactly. Uh, how about you there, Travis? I, I'd rather say a hardware store. What? Really? Yeah, because I work for a fucking construction company, dude. <laughs> okay. That's a write-off. And after that, it's like, hi, my name is Earl. It's like fucking keepers rule. Like, oh, this is mine. <laughs> this is mine. <laughs> that was my shovel. Yeah. I've always had a shovel. Don't look at me like I don't know how to hold a shovel. Okay, that's fair. I know fair. I'm 80 pounds. That's totally fair. <laughs> I, all right, I see, I see, I see. But I would take the hardware store just... So that way I wouldn't have to loot it. Yeah, I know. Uh, okay. Yeah, you're playing Spider-Man 2 with the, the fucking I'm doing area. chores. You're doing yeah. chores. Yeah. You're picking up I'm shit. I'm thinking about the family. Yeah. You're picking up <laughs> shit. God damn it. Are you fucking kidding me? Give me I'm, that hardware store. It is 100% the fucking the sex shop. Yeah. It's the sex shop. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Oh, for sure. I'm, I'm sitting there. Gross. I'm sitting there watching God play target practice with JP's fucking ass. <laughs> yeah. I'm sitting Great here time. doing it. It's and it's, okay. it's because it's fucking hilarious. Okay. I guess that is a good how point. Hard, how many how people hard? are running from the dildos, not running to the dildos? Oh, I'm, I'm <laughs> okay. definitely a safe dif okay, distance may away. You can maybe sway me to the sex shop. How hilarious <laughs> would that not be? 
<laughs> like, like I mean, they they actually name hurricanes people's names. Right. But like, this would be something of a myth. This would be a legend. Did you remember the tornado dildo fucking massacre yeah. of 2024? Absolutely, yeah. I was right they're, there. They're, just, they're just falling out of the sky, <laughs> killing old ladies. Yes, yeah. it's raining <laughs> dildos. <laughs> exactly. Oh my lord, it's yeah. raining. It's raining. End Nick. of times. End of times. Absolutely. <laughs> There's Sec- people in the streets praying. And realistically, hey, the hey. only person who dies by dildoing is JP. The yeah. rest are just sex dolls. That's, right. I mean, he you know what I'm saying? Too yeah. many. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he, he would just get full. It yeah. would be Hurricane Patricia. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Or uh, I just wouldn't have to buy anything off one? Amazon for a couple months. You wouldn't. It would yeah. be yeah. totally fine. Absolutely. God damn it. That's fucking funny. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, you know what? Good job, boys. Thank you. Thank Reese, you, Reese. Reese, that was excellent. Thank you for having a tornado. Absolutely. I hope you guys recover because that fucking sucks. Hey, you know what? Uh, I, uh, I We're actually somewhat close to um, Greensburg. Yeah. Greensburg, yeah, P- they, Kansas. Yeah. And they got hit. And you know what? They fucking got it back together. They're a little uh, crazy wacko green now, but yeah. you know, that's uh, good for yeah. them. And so I'm sure it will happen to you as well. And over Kansas. And over Kansas. More Oklahoma. There's time. Andover gets hit he's, all the time, he's, dude. He's like, surely there, too. Reese, there's Reese something said, going on in Andover, yeah. man. Who's the comedian? There's that, a magnet. Who's the, who's yeah. a comedian that always just goes like, why do you put your guys' house there? Like why don't why why is it always like rebuild. trailers and yeah. shit like you know what I mean? Yeah. It's it's because it's what we do. But yeah. anyways, gentlemen, thank you both very very much, Travis Cagle, everybody again. When's your next? The boy who cried weasel. That's right. When's your next Oklahomies? Do you know? Um, my next CSB show. Uh, I haven't figured out a theme. I do like it's central stand up. That's yeah, what I right, call it. Yeah. I haven't picked a theme for this one, but it's going to be on May nineteenth in Wichita, Kansas. Central Standard Brewing, uh, one five six Greenwood. Well, and I get to something. design. I do, I get to design the poster too. Yeah. No? Okay. He's going to design the poster, so you'll recognize some some people. I don't <laughs> know. I'm trying to think of something like maybe Spring Fling. Okay. You just or let me like know. I, or like some kind of prom thing. For a second, I was thinking Epstein Island kind of shit. Yeah. For, for a second, I was thinking Central Stand Up May Day. Okay. Because it's in May. Okay. And then I had I could do a kamikaze plane or some shit like a, that. Yeah, I had a picture of a plane exploding. <laughs> nice. And I heard that's maybe a bold marketing <laughs> choice <laughs> so like i don't know i might time it, tone it down okay. may 19th is stepmother's day oh fuck which is a really weird fucking day yeah so it's probably not gonna be that oh uh, well yeah you can't do sorry that. stepmoms you guys are great but yeah uh, it's kinda, you don't deserve a comedy show yeah yeah that's right uh how about you jp you got anything coming up anytime soon no no, not something. No, something. not really. Doesn't really shock me, man. I am, man. He I just am wanted in the middle. To leave I am eight in the middle hours of, ago. I am in the middle of writing a special. That's good. That I, I mean, I really have. I've like got serious, about half not, of it not, done. not just being silly. No, yeah. I really, yeah. Hell so yeah, dude. He's actually told he told us this like two and a half, maybe three weeks ago. I think it what it was. And we haven't been allowed to say shit. So now that you've let the cat out of the I, bag, I, I'm fucking excited I for this shit. I can't say still, but. Oh, well then uh, what the fuck are you doing? It's, I'm going to have a comedy special. It's going to be produced by a very big company. Okay. And it's going to be a fucking cool deal. Stop it. That's it. That's all Stop I can it. Say. Hey, that's Stop enough. It. You don't even need that's anything else than that. We're all really excited. And I, I, I can't, can't wait for believe, it to happen. I can't believe Polly Shore is filming a comedy special for you. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Especially after what you said about it. Well, him. that's why he's doing it. Yeah. <laughs> after last week, he's yeah, like, exactly. man, he made me look like a real chump. Oh, yeah. boy. King of the putts. All right, JP, are you ready for this? I'm ready. All right, guys. Guys, you thank you guys so Woo. very, very much for doing what you do for this show. Sharing wow. our content and sharing our TikTok, sharing our, our anything that we do helps us out. So thank you very much. All the new listeners, I hope you guys had a great time. That's what the show is actually for. Get out of life for a little bit and laugh about stupid shit. So thank you, all of you. And like we always like to say, guys, if you like us, do us a favor and tell your friends. And if you don't like us, we hope you get killed in a faggot five dill NATO. <laughs> <laughs> If you don't like us, <laughs> tell your enemies. Until next time, guys. There's no wrong way to eat a Reese. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God he said it right. <laughs> Until next time, right. keep, keep laughing, laughing assholes. assholes. We will see y'all later. Take Ooh. care.